Hi everyone, I'm Fiona Forbes and this is my trusty sidekick Chewbacca. Welcome to On Stage, the isolation sessions where we are bringing you music to brighten your day as we all self-isolate at home. And we hope you all had a great Easter weekend, uh, whatever you were celebrating. I hope that you had a fantastic one. It's a little strange having to shake up our holidays and what we do is family traditions. I know we had to shake up ours and do it by physical distance. But hey, uh, it is what it is. And uh, you know, it was a beautiful sunny weekend. I live here in Kitsilano in Vancouver and I have to say I was driving past Kits Beach uh, yesterday sunny gorgeous and it was so great to see the difference from a few weeks back when people were still uh you know willy-nilly playing basketball full contact volleyball all that stuff everybody was sitting uh a good distance apart from one another so it is nice to see that we are all settling or at least most of us are settling into what is our uh current new norm i hope it's not the norm for too much longer but the longer we respect the guidelines the longer the shorter, rather, this will be, we hope. Anyway, um, now there are a lot of frivolous things that uh, some of us are worried about as I push my hair out of my face, such as haircuts and hair colors. And yes, um, secrets out, not a natural blonde over here. I was at one time, I haven't seen my natural color in about two decades, but welcome to what I'm calling ombre instead of ombre. Now, my hairdresser sent me, physically distant sent me, uh, products so I could color my own hair and I haven't touched them. I haven't pulled a Dr. Bonnie Hendry yet. She said she tinkered with her own hair. I haven't had the nerve to because I'm so scared of wrecking it. But when I do, and I am going to attempt coloring my own hair, I will be sure to document it because if it doesn't happen on social media, it just doesn't happen, right? Uh, but I was just watching the news before we started recording today and apparently there's a lot of a black market Craigslist people offering beauty services in their own homes, garages, they'll say they'll do it in your yard you know what none of that's safe and none of it is respecting the guidelines uh, so I'm just gonna say to the people out there who are offering those services please stop and the people that are doing it you know you're putting yourself in danger because you could bring something home uh, we all know that hair color is one of those things that I can't wait to get back to when the professionals are allowed to do it for me <laughs> perhaps I should leave it to them still haven't decided but if I have green hair tomorrow you know what happened Anyway, we do have a great show coming up for you today. If you've been tuning in on the regular, you will know that we are partnered with Music Heals Canada as our charity of choice. They have a ton of great information on their website about music therapy and about how music can heal us during a time like this. So you can go to the website, you will see a red donate button. If you do have money to give, that is fantastic, but if you don't, you know, there's a lot of people in that boat. That is just fine too. But I encourage you to go there because there is a ton of information about how music can help heal us during these difficult times. Okay, now it is time to get to the music. If you are a fan of the Gumboot Kids or a fan of country music, you will be very familiar with my next guest. I have not seen her in years, Jessie Farrell. It is so nice to see you. How are you? I'm well, thank you. I'm just hanging out here with Freedom. Freedom, you want to say hi? <laughs> Fiona, I was thinking about it. You're right, it was the Junos um, in Vancouver the last time I saw you. Um, but every time I think of you, I always think, wow, you know, I've, I've had so many really great moments where I've had to get better and better at what I do when I see you. Like, you know, the morning shows and all that, different. All, you know, it's pretty neat. It's, it's kind of a... You're kind of a, a milestone for me. Does that make sense? Oh, thanks, Jesse. That's so sweet. Uh, it certainly does. And I've been keeping up uh, with your career since I saw you at the red carpet at the Junos. I can't remember how many years ago that was, but you've been doing really well. And uh, of course, you're involved with the Gumboot Kids. You're recording a new album. But let's start with the Gumboot Kids because there is a connection to self isolation. And a lot of parents out there who might be, uh, you know, a little bit stuck with homeschooling. Right. Well, there are, I think, over 85 episodes of the Gumboot Kids show on CBC. Um, you can find it all on gumbootkids.com. And every episode is about a different subject in nature. 
And so there's tons of curriculum for parents and for families to learn from. And they're all available now. So um, we didn't build them for that reason as a team, but um, obviously it's, it's just a hugely important thing to, to enjoy the day with families and to have something to do and so a little bit of structure. And so I think the curriculums are, are really coming in handy right now. Very handy indeed. And Jesse, uh, of course, we're partnered here with Music Heals Canada because they do such great work with music therapy. Uh, music therapy can help anybody who's in self-isolation, and that is all of us right now. So what are your thoughts on music and a time like this and how it can lift our spirits? Well, you know, it's so interesting because as a musician, I guess I've been healing myself every day of the week since I was little. Um, you know, playing guitar, writing music, and writing other, you know, singing other people's songs, and music is such a hugely important part of my life, and my healing, and the way I grow as a human, and also the way I can support other people. So it's the most important thing in the world to me. Um, the more complicated life gets, the more I seem to write. And, and the more I want to be able to reach out to people and connect. I've heard some really beautiful stories from people about how music is, is helping them through this, and it's crucial. It's crucial. It really is, and thank you. I've been following you on Instagram. Thank you so much for uh, sharing your music and your positivity with everyone. And uh, I understand you are working on a new country album. What are you working mm -hmm. on? Well, um... I have two little ones, so I've been very busy with uh, raising two mini humans and taking it really seriously and made sure that I could be the best um, parent possible. So that's been really important to me. And then, of course, I've been writing music for the Gumboot Kids series and had the series of music videos, and it's been very packed. It's been a packed 10 years of this. Um, and now I feel so inspired to connect with people about whatever comes to mind. And right now my first song that came, that's coming out is going to be called is endless love. And I feel like to me, that's really all we need right now is to be an endless well of love and compassion for each other, for ourselves, um, for everyone who is out there on the front lines, for our animals, for nature, for everything. If we have endless love, then we can, we can exist in a, in a healthy and mindful way. And so that, that was the first one that was, I was inspired to write. And then since then I've been writing more songs about, you know, letting light shine in and, and, you know, knowing that you can get down and you can get back up. And so all these sort of themes are coming to me. And so every day I'm writing like crazy and um, I'm loving it and I'm sharing them. Um, really in a raw way, in a workshopped way, which I've never done before. And I've never been on, camera with you know like like no proper makeup and I've never done all these things and it's so all of us are doing this we're doing this kind of raw vulnerable approach because that's the approach and that and if you want to connect with people you have to put yourself out there and so I'm willing to to reach out and and see what happens and hopefully you know, how I'm learning from other people right now, they're going to learn from me. And it can be this wonderful tapestry we all weave of love and connection. So well said, Jesse. Thank you so much uh, for sharing your music and for joining us today. It's been a pleasure to catch up with you. Lovely to see you too. You look beautiful and thanks for doing such good work. And thank you to Jesse and right back at you. If you want to check out Jesse Farrell and catch up what she's been up to, you can just go to her website. It's jessiefarrell.com. And please do follow her on Instagram as well. She is sharing some of her beautiful music uh, there. And as Jesse said off the top of the interview, there's 80 some episodes of the Gumboot Kids. If you have kids at home, what a great way to not just entertain them, but put some structure into their day. And hey, they might learn something. Uh, so thanks to Jessie for that and without further ado here is Jessie Farrell with some of her beautiful songs. Hey everybody this uh, song is called Don't Stop Trying. It's brand new. 
Um, just workshopping it as we speak. So here we go. Looking for a future, heading to the past, trying to find happiness. Counting your money, counting your blessings, wondering what comes next. But even the earth cries out sometimes. You get down, you get up, and you don't stop trying. You get down, you get down, and you get up. Ooh. Looking for a sign in the window, listening to the birds sing. Trying to keep living, keep breathing, keep listening. And the earth cries out sometimes. You get down, you get up, and you don't stop trying. You get down, you get down, and you get up. You get down, you get up, and you don't stop trying. You get down, you get down. Love, love, love. 
these two little hooligans in the hall and I, I thought that they could come and sing with me. They're both ready for bed. Um, they're both Gumboot Kids so they travel all over the place with me recording and filming the Gumboot Kids episodes. They're in the latest spring episode um, and one of the songs that um, I've written for the Gumboot Kids show is all about stars. Uh, you guys want to sing along with me a bit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is Bunny and this is Waylon. Here we go. We're all stars in the ocean We're all stars in the sky Glowing, growing, sparkling bright Glowing, growing, sparkling bright Do you know how Beautiful you are, you're one of a kind, my star. You're one of a kind, my star. Do you know how fragile we are? You're one of a kind, my star. You're one of a kind, my star. Yeah, you sparkle, sparkle and shine. And that was the lovely and talented Jessie Farrell. If you want to check her out, you can find her new album on Spotify, or you can just go to her website. It's jessiefarrell.com. So thanks to Jessie for joining us today. And if you're a musician out there and you want to join us on the show, it's really easy. Just go to our website. It is onstagelive.tv, and there's all the info on there under artist submissions on how you can send us your music so we can keep the music alive while we're all at home and these episodes wouldn't be possible without the generosity of our sponsor chambers plan group insurance thank you so much for supporting us through all of this and be sure to tune in tomorrow to find out who is on stage mm -hmm.